Hi guys, I've got another charm update for you just to show you um, what I've been making this week. So first I'll start off with, I made a couple of cakes. This one I, I think I'm calling a cappuccino cake or a mocha latte cake. Basically this was just made out of some scrap clay I had that I wanted to use. Um, I just kind of grabbed the colors and put them together and I thought, oh, that looks kind of like coffee. So then I made some little coffee beans on the top. And uh, the slices also have the espresso beans on top. So there's that and that one. Then I made um, a coconut cream cake. It's supposed to be a chocolate cake with like a coconut cream filling and then um, shredded coconut on the outside. Scale wise, the coconut is probably a little bit too big and actually it looks a little bit like slivered almonds but either way I'm kind of happy with how that one turned out and there's the slice also with the shredded coconut or almond slices whichever you'd prefer as long as it looks edible I really don't care <laughs> those those I tried to make a uh, clock piece I was gonna make like an Alice in Wonderland charm but it ended up looking more like a compass, um, so I haven't decided how I'm going to put this to use yet. It just doesn't quite look like a clock. It looks more like a compass, but a compass wouldn't have the second hand. A compass would just have the one hand, so I don't know. I'll figure out something to do with that. Um, then I made a pumpkin pie. With whipped cream on top. I wanted to put some real cinnamon inside to kind of scent it, and uh, I forgot because you know real pumpkin pie has those little brown dots in it as well, so the cinnamon would have would have done well there, but I think it still looks pretty cute. I guess it could be a sweet potato pie too, but it was supposed to be a pumpkin pie. There's that. Then uh, I have a friend who had her birthday this past weekend, and I asked her if she wanted anything special from me, and she asked me to make her some True Blood charms. Her favorite character is Sam Merlot, the shifter, so um, I made her a Merlot's sign, which will hang just like that off a chain, um, and it glows in the dark. I don't know if this is going to work because it's daylight, but there you go. So it's glow in the dark clay, so when it's dark outside... You'll just see the lettering. And then I made a bottle of True Blood. The little label. And I really like how this one turned out. I actually made a second one for myself. Because <laughs> I really liked how that, that looks exactly right. That was my phone. Um, then my friend um, had seen some of the stuff I was making and he said that I should try to make a storm in a jar. So that's what I did. Now, I made the liquid a little bit too dark. I don't know if you can tell, but it is cloudy in there, kind of like how I did the dragon's eye. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but it is cloudy on the inside. If I make another one of these, I won't make it quite so dark on the inside. Then I did some bottled sunshine. And you can see I used like some tinsel glitter in there to kind of look like rays of sunshine. And it did separate a bit, a bit at the top, but I'm not that concerned about it. And I did uh, bottled moonlight. And I don't know if you can tell, but there are little moons inside there. It's not focusing, but those little white bits, those are little moons inside the glitter mix. And then I did bottled starlight. Just looks like that one. I really like the mix on this one. It's blue with um, big specks of gold. I think it looks very much like the night sky. That's the starlight. And then I just had some kind of random leftover rainbow clay, so I made kind of a, a I don't know, I'm, it looks kind of Mardi Gras to me. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe Gay Pride, Mardi Gras, something. But I really like it. It's pretty. It looks like a party in a bottle. Maybe that's what I'll call it. Party in a bottle. And then I got another princess done. I did Pocahontas. I'm still kind of stumped on Mulan. And i got to figure out what to do for her. But 
This is what I did for Pocahontas. And I did some kind of earth colors in her glitter mix. And she's got the fringe skirt, and there's a little feather that hangs down like that. <coughs> Nora, hush. And uh, that's all I've got for you. Thanks so much.